Oh, that is just painful. Truly painful. Full time from Volkpark Stadion in Hamburg. And it's finished. Poland 1, Netherlands 2. And honestly, it's just so frustrating. I mean, of course it had to be Volkpark Horst off the bench to go on and score the winning goal. It, it, it had to be him, didn't it? It had to be Veghorst, didn't it? Oh, sorry about that. It had to be him, didn't it? It, it, it had to be him. But yeah, I mean, overall, it was a decent game. I mean, to be fair, I thought we would get battered. And Poland kind of did prove me wrong. I mean, the first half, I thought it was dominated by the Netherlands. I thought they played really well first half. Netherlands, they had a lot of the ball, had a lot of chances. And we were just parking the, bu we were just parking the bus for the majority of the first half. We just really couldn't get out our own half. It was just pure Nev It was just pure dominance from Netherlands in the first half. I really have to be honest. And uh, I was just like, oh, here we go. We're going gonna to get bad now, aren't we? I mean, the start of the second half, it was kind of the same, but I feel like we were around the 55th, 60th minute. We kind of got back into the game a bit. I mean, going forward, we were better. We were, we were better going forward, in my opinion. I mean, just attacking, we were better going forward, you know, from Zielinski and that. I mean, I was actually, like, quite confident when we were going forward. And I, I said on stream, I said on stream that I actually have a feeling we could score in a minute. And then, I mean, defensively as well. I mean, defensively, all games we've had, I thought Poland were really, really solid because um, Netherlands, had, Netherlands had lots of chances to score. They could have won that about 5-6-1 Netherlands if they would have put their chances away. Um, but, yeah, but, I mean, obviously, surprisingly, we actually took the lead in the first half. Um, it was corner played in, Butzka with the header, headed it past for Bruggen, 1-0. And I was quite surprised considering the way we had started. I mean, like I said, Netherlands just dominated the first half. It was all Netherlands in that first half, and somehow we went one 0 up. And then, you know, after that, Netherlands, you know, they played well. Like I said, dominated the half, and also they got the equaliser. Cody Gapko took took a deflection off one of the defenders. I'm not sure which one it was, um, but Gapko shot took a deflection, and Netherlands went on and scored to make it one one. But like I said, second half, it was good from Poland. We played well, attacking, we were good. And defensively, throughout the whole game, we were really good. I mean, to be fair, I thought when Jakob Moda came on, I thought he he had a good impact. And I thought Chesney, throughout the whole game, was good. Made some really, really important saves. Um, I mean, to be fair, you can tell that we probably needed a player like Lewandowski in this game, in, in this game, in this game. Because like the, the passion he was showing from... On the bench, I, you know, he wants us to do well, and it was so frustrating that he had to get injured in that last friendly on Monday against Turkey. But yeah, and then obviously, of course, Vegkors he came on, the ball was playing to him, and of course, it, it had to be Vegkors, didn't it? It had to be him. I, I, too far, I think I, I think I was listening to the BBC analysis after the game, and apparently, I think Vegkors. It's the fastest Dutch substitute to score in a European Championship. And I was, I literally, when he came out, I was like, please. I was like, if their course scores, I swear to God. And of course he has to go on and score. And I was like, I mean, Poland, you know, we, we, we pushed until the end, but we just couldn't get that goal. And we've ended up losing 2-1. But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, it was not a bad performance. Because like I said, I thought we would get battered. To be honest, and we didn't, which is, which is a good thing because it shows that we can compete against these big teams. Obviously, of course, we got Austria now on the twenty-first of June, which obviously Austria are playing against France tomorrow. So I'll, I'll, obviously, I'll be watching that game definitely, and I'll be looking to see how Austria and France play because obviously they are the remaining two teams that Poland have got to face in the groups, but. Yeah, I mean, it's just so frustrating because we nearly got a point as well against a very good Dutch team. Um, and obviously, their course had to go and ruin it for everyone, um, or for every Polish fan. 
But yeah, man of the match for, I mean, man of the match overall. <sighs> I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, I think man of the match for a pile in perspective. I'm probably going to give it to Chesney. I thought he played really well, made some really, really key saves. But I mean, from Netherlands' point of view, I mean, Netherlands, I mean, they were all right, I guess, but... Netherlands, they were all right. I mean, I can't really remember it, to be honest with me. I've got a memory of a goldfish, but... But, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to the full-time reactions for England and Slovenia. So, yeah, goodbye.